Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Gardner. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I've been in practice since 1990. Today we're going to have a little discussion about visco supplementation therapy. What, you don't know what that is? Yeah, I'd be kind of surprised if you did. Visco supplementation therapy is a type of osteoarthritis therapy that is FDA approved for use in the knee. Now specifically, osteoarthritis of the knee has an FDA on-label approved therapy called visco supplementation therapy. Now, that's a big word and it's called actually several different things. It's called joint fluid therapy. It's called hyaluronic acid therapy. And around here, because the original products and still the majority of the products being marketed are made from rooster comb extract, no kidding, but from rooster comb extract this product is derived and so we call this frequently chicken juice therapy around here. Let's explain that in detail. Hyaluronic acid is purified from the products that are produced by extraction from rooster combs. Once it's purified and sterilized, we inject that back into the knee joint. Now, somebody figured out a long time ago that what happens when a joint begins to deteriorate is that the joint fluid quality deteriorates as well. Specifically, it loses a percentage of the generation of hyaluronic acid within that joint fluid. That hyaluronic acid is the chemical that's within the joint fluid which makes it the most slippery. It actually gives nutritional content to the joint surface and it's a shock absorber because it's a very dense fluid. Repeated exposures of this higher concentration hyaluronic acid into the joint causes the joint to start making its own better hyaluronic acid. Now what we inject is not what's giving the benefit. What we inject, in fact, is absorbed within 24 hours. But the repeated exposures over, say, a five injection series causes the joint to kind of remember what it made as a child and starts making that better joint fluid again. And for most people, in fact, 80% of the people, there's dramatic benefit in relief of pain and better ease of use of those joints. Now there are five different USA marketed brands of visco supplementation products. The ones with the longest track record and the lowest side effects profile that are undesirable would be Hyalgan, which is hyaluronic acid, and Suparts, which is very similar but not in fact identical to Hyalgan. Two synthetic products are on the market, one's called Euflexa and the other is now OrthoVisc, which was not originally a synthetic product. Those have some of the shortest track records on the market. We don't use them as often because their track record is not as proven. The final of the five products that you've probably heard about because they do a lot of direct to consumer advertising is Synvisc. Synvisc is the one that probably has the highest rate of undesirable side effects, which we would potentially call a complication depending upon how bad it was. So we aren't fans of Synvisc here, but it's a good product, it's been used in literally millions of cases worldwide. Everyone's curious about how we would actually use visco supplementation in their case. Well, visco supplementation came to the United States as an FDA approved product around 1997. Now initially, no one really believed it worked very well, and in fact it was the early 2000s before it got coverage by most third party payers including Medicare. But here's how we use it. We inject it into the joint in question, specifically the knee. Now one of our colleagues in 2002 humbled the orthopedic community by showing us that yes we're surgeons and yes we operate on the knee all the time but we, when we do a simple injection into the knee joint at the bedside for instance at an examining table we're not in that joint almost half of the time. Now none of us wanted to believe it but in my own case I proved to myself that that's true by doing a series of injections under fluoroscopic control and in fact we wouldn't be in the joint about half the time. So we use typically local anesthesia and fluoroscopic or x-ray control to confirm that we're inside the joint by injecting a little bit of dye into the joint to confirm that that needle tip is completely within the joint cavity. Now by using that technique, fortunately, you'll hardly have any pain. And also, just as fortunately, you'll have a better result. We know that 80% of the people get 80% pain reduction, and the knee feels better and moves better after these procedures. 
Now, unfortunately, there's about 7% of the population who are what we call biologic non-responders. What that means is they just don't get the biochemical changes within the joint after the injections. As a result of that, we try to see almost every patient back about six weeks after the final injection when you should be getting your best results to make sure that you're a responder. In those patients, you could do 100 injections and they still wouldn't get any benefit. Now the way that we do these injections is once a week for the duration of the therapy. Typically our injection series is a total of five injections. Now that's once a week really for four weeks and a day because the first day of the fifth week you get your last injection. Now those appointments will be scheduled by the medical assistant here in the office today or one of the schedulers at our front desk. We will make sure that things are appropriately preauthorized for you and that you'll know what your obligations are before we get started.